Good morning and happy Monday. I am feeling really good today. I don't know why, I just feel productive. I feel like it's gonna be a good start to the week. However, I only slept six hours last night, but that's okay. It's better than five or four. I am in the room right now. I just came to check in with you guys because my kids are at lunch and it's been another one of those testing mornings. Since it is the window and we are testing right now, that's what I've been doing most of the day. We did, however, start a new Scholastic News today called Bugs in Your Hair, I think. I'll show it to you guys um, in a little while, but my kids do have guidance today, so that'll be nice. And then music, which will give me time to, I need to sort some math pages for our new unit that we're starting called Partners and Teams, so we'll be talking about even and odd numbers, and also I need to um, work on my plans for the rest of the week because I'm planned for half a day every day, but I need to do like my math plans in the afternoon. I haven't done that yet. So yeah, we watched a new Mystery Doug today, and also I wanted to show you guys this morning, I put a question on the board. We've been talking about growth mindset a lot and how I think I told you guys this, like, you know, it's the end of the year, kids are tired, but we still need to make sure we're persevering and not giving up. I actually saw this on Pinterest. So I wrote, Mindset Monday, what can you say instead of, this is hard? And then as my kids were coming in this morning, I let them come up if they wanted to and write the answer. So I have, I can do this, I can't do this yet. Uh, don't give up. You can get through if you try. I don't know the answer yet. Do not give up. It might be hard now, don't. It won't matter. I don't know what that says. You can do this. I will do this. I won't give up. I will not give up. So I like that. I actually saw that on Pinterest. I think it would be really nice to do something like that every day just to let my kids have time to think and then maybe it'll sit on their brain for the day. I did pull math sheets this morning. I just haven't sorted them. So I have my stack right here that I need to go through. And as you can see, it says partners and teams. And we'll be doing that as a introduction. I don't have anything after school. So that's nice. I, oh, I wanted to tell you guys, I'm so sorry I did not film on Friday. I was so prepared, I was called up, and then I got to school Friday morning and I looked in my bag and I had left my camera at home. Seems like it's always something, you guys. But I'm here today and I'm glad and I'm gonna go eat and I'll catch you guys when my kids go to guidance. day went from being a great day to a not so great day because my kids were absolutely out of control this afternoon. They're just tired. They're just tired of school. I'm tired of school too. My kids were in guidance earlier and then music and while they were gone we actually did meet. I met with my grade level and scored a couple of writing assessments and then when they came back we did um, some fraction review stuff. I had them draw circles and squares, no, circles and rectangles in their math journal and then not like all all at once, like one at a time. So I told them to draw a circle and then cut the circle into thirds or cut the circle into halves and name the parts. So one third, one third, one third, and then one half, one half. And then we practiced some with rectangles. And then I gave them a task card. 
So I have four task cards and each one tells them to do something different. So make a rectangle cake. Imagine you want to serve the whole thing to three people or a circle cake. Imagine you want to serve the whole thing to two people, that kind of thing. So they drew it out and then if they got the rectangle cake, then they had to get this page. And if they drew the circle one, then they had to get this page. And so then they had to follow the directions on the task card. I told them they could decorate their cakes and then cut them out and glue them down, label each part. And then I told them on the actual paper to tell me how they know that they did it correctly. So for example, if they had to cut it into fourths, then they would say, I know because there are four pieces and each piece is equal. So that's the big thing. Like they have to know that there's four pieces, but they also have to make sure that the pieces are equal. So here is one. She had the task card number three, make a circle and imagine you wanna serve the whole thing to three people. So you can see she decorated her cake and then she wrote one third, one third, one third on each piece. And then at the top she said, I know I have thirds because they're all equal parts. If you put your finger on them, they'll all be the same size. So that was what we did for math. And then we went outside and it was so hot outside today. It's like 85 degrees. Um, and then when we came back in, we did a math task. Let me show you what one of my math tasks looked like. These are tasks that are given to us from um, the Department of Public Instruction, DPI. And we have 11 of them that we have to give during this month. And then they go in their cumulative records at the end of the year. But look at this one. You can see right through it. I do not know what happened. I do not know why he did that. I don't know. Maybe he is mad. Who knows? But anyways, it is a quarter till three and I need to work on getting some stuff ready for another fraction review thing that I'm doing tomorrow called Fraction Picnic where they get different pieces of food and they have to separate it a certain way. So they each get a cookie. They each get a slice of cheese. They each get a slice of ham and a piece of bread, which is right here. And so they'll color their food for their picnic tomorrow. And then they will have to separate it or partition it. Let's see. Yeah, so they're going to be making a sandwich. They'll have to cut their, it's called a fair share picnic. So they'll have to cut their sandwich in half. They'll have to make sure they're using half of a plate, so I'll get paper plates. They have to have half of the placemat and half of a cookie. And then of course, you know, half of the bread, the cheese, and the ham. So we'll go, we'll do it and then we'll go on a gallery walk so everybody can see how they divided up their pieces. And then we have another task tomorrow, I think. I think it's small group. Some of the tasks are whole group and some of them are small group. And that makes it difficult too. But anyways, I'm going to get off here and get some things done. And I'll catch you guys when I get ready to leave. Well, I made it through the day and I am ready for tomorrow. I have my plans copied. I have them in my plan book. And yeah, so I'm ready to get out of here. And it is 10 minutes till 4, so I am doing good. I wanted to show you guys what one of my students got me for teacher appreciation. Look at this. It says best teacher ever. Her mom has a Cricut machine and I've had this Yeti for probably two years, I guess. And I did have a T on the front for my first name and it peeled off and then I didn't have anything else. And one day she said, my mom has a sticker on her Yeti and it's just like that or something. And I knew that her mom 
had a Cricut because she actually made me um, the one that's on my coffee cup. I'll show it to you. This one. And as you can see, this coffee cup is terribly old. But she made me this one, and it is so cute. I love it. I actually sent her this picture, and she printed it just exactly like the picture. So, I'm very happy with that. But I am going to head out. I'm going to go run because I'm trying to work on my health lately. Eat, eating healthier, exercising more, and it makes me feel better all around. Plus, summertime's coming up. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you all are having a wonderful week. Be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me. And I will see you guys tomorrow.